A catering production makes food for 6,000 people a day. Oh. oh, that's impressive. That is insane. I have never seen anything like that. Buongiorno, guys. It's Max in Astra. I'm back in Istanbul. I'm super excited because today I will take you with me to some of the restaurants I've been wanting to visit in for a very long time. And the Our day started early in the morning. We went to Pole San Catering, where they cook food for 6,000 people every day. Himmet Polat, one of the owners, took us around to see the different sections of the production, from the cooking preparation, the vegetable section, to the dessert area and the packaging. Then he showed us how some of the food was prepared. We're going to make pepper kebab, and the chef just put a huge block of butter. Onion. Oh. Oh. Tomato paste. Oh, wow. Oh, smells incredible. Barat, paprika. <laughs> this is a good look. Oh, how nice. And yeah, it's done. One tray is done. Then let's see what's next. You try it first, and then it's good to go. Oh, the sauce inside the Kaitan kebab. Then they're going to be put in the oven and delivered. Oh, the food is ready. All right. Paper kebab. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh. Tereya. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, it smells incredible. Oh, oh. It's incredible to see how a catering production makes food for 6,000 people a day. It's such a privilege, a huge honor for us to be here and witness the behind the scenes. Wow. Oh. oh wow. Barat. Barat. And this is a dish that we never tried before. Yogurt soup. <laughs> oh wow. Oh mamma mia. Those little bowls made with flour. No wood. Chickpeas. Oh, yes. Boom. It's incredible. Our food is prepared in such a huge scale. Corn. Mixed herbed. Oh, wow. The smell of basil is strong. Time to try the soup. Cheers. Oh, that's not, oh, oh, that's nice. Guzel, okay. that's cold. Sauk. Sauk. Yeah. Sauk. Now it's complete. Cold, sour. I love the herbs on top. It is refreshing. It's just wonderful to witness a different variety of food being made from side dishes to the mains and ending with desserts. 
This huge production is something I have never experienced before, and everyone here works seamlessly together to ensure the quality of the food meets their standards. And next, it's time to eat. Oh, the final touch! Oh, the sauce on top of the pepper kebab. Teşekkürler usta. Salat ba, fiş pilavı, bulgur pilavı, kağıt kebabı, soğuk çorbamız. Beautiful. Let's try bulgur pilav. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Oh, the meat is tender. Potatoes, carrots, peas. Sauce makes a difference. I just want to say a huge chapter Shekurle, huge thank you for this opportunity to you and your brother. And soon we're going to their restaurant, Ababa Duner, to try some of the best food. For lunch, we came to this restaurant selling tons of different food that will make your mouth water. From soups, vegetables, to meat dishes and dinner. This place has it all. Is that it? The chef is going to make a plate with a bit of everything. It's chili curved. Oh, that looks nice. Pate jean ve cachar. Oh yes, oh on top, oh wow, that's what I love. Lamb cooked in the oven, slow cooked, looks so juicy. <laughs> Bonfile, the caramelized onion, and such kavurma. Oh, curu fazuli as well. Mamma mia, yes. <laughs> what a show. Oh, a beautiful yaprak doner. Oh wow. <laughs> The plate is a bomb. <laughs> oh wow, that is massive. Seven, eight different dishes. We're trying the whole restaurant today. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that is oh that is good. Okay. <laughs> and then salad. Take a look at this beautiful, massive plate. We have so many dishes, I don't even know where to start from. <laughs> I, I really wanted to try this one with the eggplant puree. Oh, oh, he has a bit of cheese in it and milk. He makes it so creamy. This is fantastic. Moving on, I really want to try this lamb cook in the oven. Look <laughs> at the meat. Oh. Super mega tender. Oh, that's amazing. Let's go for this beautiful Ichli curved made with bulgur and stuff with ground meat. Oh, and walnuts. Oh, wow. Let's try it out. Oh, oh it's so crunchy. Nutty. I can really taste the walnuts. It's really, really good. One more thing this bone fillet with caramelized onion. That's, that's outstanding. Look, super tender, caramelized onion and a bit sweet. Technically, today I kind of uh, tasted your restaurant. You, you made this experience wonderful. A very unique experience. All right, guys, I'm super excited. I'm here with the famous Selimusta to witness him make his famous and original ad adiaman chikofte. Adiaman chikofte. Okay, what we have here? Saramsak. Saramsak. Salcha. Domate salcha. Isolt. Baharat. Bulgur. Yeşillik. Evet. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Tomato paste. Onion. Salt. Garlic. It's hot. Aju. Aju tatle. He starts mixing. It gets cooked by yes. the pressure of kneading. Kash dakka. Yeah. He needs to knead it for 20 minutes. Look at the color. This is so dark because of the isot. 
Oh, take a look at the consistency. Oh, wow. Is that the bulgur? Oh, pala. Hey, voila, curry chic. It's mixing everything. See, slowly, slowly, the consistency changes. Strong. Oh, yes. That's how it gets cooked by the pressure of kneading. 20 minutes doing this. You strong. Back to working restaurant. <laughs> Just go out. All right. Let's go. Let's start. Oh, oh yes. Usta. Oh. <laughs> Usta. Chicote Usta. Yes. Oh. Italia Diamant. Italia Diamant. One of the final touches. Special sauce, yes. secret sauce, yes. <laughs> selimusta sauce. All right, this process takes up to 30 minutes. It's going to add homemade pomegranate molasses, yes. organic. Oh, wow. It tastes like, because I tried it, like honey. And then kneading again. I love watching the master in action. This is a uh, Olive oil made it in an old-fashioned way, pure organically. It is so thick. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Even the color is different. All right. Herbs. Barat. Spices. 23 spices in this mix. Oh, that's impressive. So many ingredients. He's <laughs> he's slapping the chikofte. <laughs> oh. <Boom. laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> it doesn't fall. Oh my god, it's so thick. Meshu Seli Musta Adiaman original chikofte. Yes. Chok Zer. Mosaitinia. A bit of lettuce, that's how they serve it. Fresh. Oh wow. Oh, oh mamma mia. Ciao Guzel. Zaitinia. Uh, is hot, is hot. Uh, pomegranate molas. Oh wow, this is the best chicken that without a doubt I've ever tried. Oh yes. Selimusta is going to prepare for us a mixed plate of chicken. Oh. Take a look at this beautiful plate, made with copper, of course. It's from Adiaman, the city where Selimusta comes from. What a beautiful presentation. Oh, yes. Pomegranate molasses. Chicote sushi. Oh. Oh, wow. Isot. Isot. He's marinating the wrap with isot and olive oil. I'm literally mouth watering. Hey, voila. Beautiful. Tesha Gurle Usta. Alright, guys, I'm super hungry. Let's start. I want to start with this one with isot on top and olive oil. Buon appetito. Oh, mamma mia. The iso and the olive oil truly make the difference. Let's take this sushi roll now. Mamma mia. Oh. They are a bit spicy, lemony. You got the freshness of the pomegranate molasses. Uffa. Mm -hmm. 
This one is amazing. It's our chow chow yeah. dessert. Usta, çok teşekkürle. Ben teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür. Eyvallah. Thank you so much for Eyvallah. everything. It's been Ayağınıza amazing. Ayağınıza sağlık. Teşekkür ederiz. You're such a humble person. I wish you all the very best because you deserve it. Teşekkürler. Çok teşekkür. Teşekkürler. Teşekkür. Eyvallah. All right, it was an incredible experience. Please pay a visit to Selim Usta because he sells absolutely, without a doubt, the best chikrofte I personally ever tasted. <gülüyor> For breakfast, we're going for something very special. And yum. Araba Usta. Araba. Bu uh, kemikli yok. No, bu kemiksiz. Yes. The famous Sir Sheref Burian Kebab. The oldest Burian Kebab in Turkey, probably. This is a restaurant I've been wanting to come for such a long time. See, the master designed the meat. This is lamb meat from Balik Seir. This is the meat without the bones, only at the top, just to hang it. This is incredible. All oh, right, ready to be cooked in the pit. Oh, ho, ho. it's opening the well. 130 years old restaurant. Oh, let's check the well. Three meters deep. Oh, wow. That is deep. Oh, let's get rid of the embers. This is the meat by the bone. They use neck, ribs, shank. The time has come. They're going to put it down. Oh, oh. oh that juicy looking meat. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, yes. And then the meat without the bones. Oh, oh. oh yes. Lead, and now they're going to seal it. The meat is going to get cooked inside the oven for one and one, one hour and 45 minutes. Chop the sugar, let me start going again. Allah was so Getting rid of the mud. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. The moment has come. Oh, oh, oh. Mamma mia! This is amazing. Oh wow! This is perfect. I admire this meat. Oh wow! This is a chop dessert. This is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. That's why they hang the meat at the front. Oh wow! Freshly made durian kebab, and I want to introduce you to. Sheriff Usta is the second generation. So nice he let us uh, film the entire preparation of his famous burian kebab. It's a privilege for us to be here. 130 years old burian restaurant. Oh. <laughs> oh, the skin is a bit crunchy. Chuck is there. Chuck is there. Chuck is there. I became a burian master. Look, uh, now I can cut. <laughs> I work here. <laughs> Little piece. Oh, see, the best burian kebab from Sirt. Sheref burian. Sheref burian. Oh. <laughs> Ciao, Guzel. <laughs> when we went to Sir, there wasn't a place selling per de pilaf. This will be the very first time for us trying per de pilaf. I'm super excited. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. Per de pilaf, mamma mia, finally! Mm. 
Ci ho te shakur le usta. Oh, that's amazing. Ci ho te shakur le usta. Oh, so nice. Oh, wow. Had they get? The usta is opening it for us. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells incredible. There is almonds, tabuk. Tabuk. From the master himself. Oh, yes. Look at the skin. All right. Buon appetito. Mamma mia. On numero, oh. Mamma mia. Take a look how illegal it is. Fatty, juicy. Cook underground for three hours. No additives, just a sprinkle of salt at the end before serving it. Also, what I'm super excited about is this beautiful per de pilaf. Look, this is actually dough topped up with almonds and stuffed with spice rice, chicken, and berries. It smells like being in a bakery. All right, let's get it. A bit of everything. Oh, that's aromatic. Oh, wow. Mm. That makes a difference. Definitely you got a bit of sweetness from the berries, and this is super crunchy. Oh. This is like a rice cake. Upgraded rice cake. Mmm, mm -hmm. What the? It's fun. I love it. It's so good. Amazing. Shere Fusaka kindly just brought her this freshly made kitek, which is here style Ichli Köfte and Mumbar, stuffed intestine. Ciotte Shekur le Usta. So nice. Let's try the Mumbar. Oh, with meat. Stuffed with spiced rice and lamb meat. <laughs> Buon appetito. Oh, what? Oh. It's good. So good. Zero odor whatsoever. The rice is super fluffy, a bit spicy because as you can see there is a bit of chili and the meat is so tender. Let's try this beautiful Kitak Sir style Ichili Kofte. It's tough with ground lamb spices. These are the flavors of Sir. Mamma mia, oh. They make kuzuche virme. Look at the juice and the fat dripping. Must be extremely juicy and tender. Look at the skin. That is super mega illegal. It doesn't get any more illegal than that. And they have four more on the other side. The last one, the bottom one is almost cooked. That is insane. I have never seen anything like that. Turkish food is blowing me away, literally. All right, they're going to put the new one. See, this is already been cooked. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, they're going to move one by one, because the top one is going to be the new one. Boom. Oh, this place is a machine. Lamb after lamb. <laughs> mamma mia. Oh. Sere kebab. Sere kebab. You're ready to go. Let's follow the chefs. Oh, yes. Let's go. Here we are. Take a look at the skin. It looks so crispy. Oh, oh, oh yes. Serek. And this is called serek. That's why the kebab is called serek kebab. Oh, oh. Mamma mia, I'm drunk. It's fun, yeah. Tuz yok. Altus. Altus. Barat yok, natural. On numera. Mamma mia. Ciò te sicuro gusta. E ne sale. Te vet. Oh, oh mamma mia. Oh. Caburga. Oh, yes. Chef, and then it's all. Oh. Oh. 
Chote Shigurla. Take a look at this beautiful, crispy skin. Oh man, the time has come. Let's give it a massive bite. Take a look. Buon appetito. Mamma mia. It dissolves in my mouth. This is impressive. Look at this skin. Don't you feel like to come here and have a bite? Oh, a bit crispy. This is what we came here for. I needed to end my meal with this beautiful cold baklava. Ever since I tried it in the Arbaque, I fell in love with it. Soaked in meal, so with chocolate and pistachio. Buon appetito. Oh, oh mamma mia. Cold baklava officially has become my favorite baklava. Let me know guys in the comment section down below your favorite baklava, but the cold one is definitely my favorite. And this was the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching as always. See you next Sunday. Ciao.